Good evening, everybody. Happy Thursday. Ooh, hubba hubba. Ah, oh, I had a really busy day today. Um, yeah. What do you do all day, Ify? You don't work. Well, I really did have stuff to do today. I'm still, I'm on day two of piecing my house back together again. I did inane things. Like, I took apart my fan in my bedroom. You know, the one I have to have on when I sleep every night, winter, spring, summer, fall, doesn't matter. And it was just nasty looking. It had so much dust in it. And I've been sitting here wondering why I have the sniffles, you know, and no cold. So I took that sucker apart and gave it a good scrubbing. And now it looks like brand new. And I should probably breathe a lot better tonight when I sleep. And um, I just did a lot of cleaning. Laundry. I haven't done my own laundry in about mm, 11 months. Somebody else has always done it for me, so I did it myself today, and um, it was painless. I, I really was able to do it. Usually I get dizzy, but <clears throat> I'm on a health kick where I'm kind of pushing myself a little bit every day, um, just because I'm tired of being disabled. I'm still going to be disabled, but at least if I move around and do stuff, my neuropathy and that kind of stuff doesn't and I'm not getting so much atrophy. I know, it sounds stupid. I'm too young to have an atrophy, but you do when you've been bedridden for so long. Anyway, but yeah, I did that. And um, and I had a lot of phone calls today. Some really strange phone calls. Not so strange phone calls. I had to deal with Social Security because they're, they're trying to push my application through um, the federal Social Security um, benefits so that, well... If I qualify for that, that'd be a really good thing, and I don't have to worry so much about looking for a new job or anything like that. My unemployment benefits, I live in California, it's not a happy scenario. Yes, I got approved for an extension, but I haven't seen money from them for months. So, yeah, they're having a problem. Apparently, their um, computer system with these extensions on an extension. Their program is 30 years old, and from what I read on the news, it doesn't know how to make heads or tails of <laughs> these extensions. So they're trying to work that out on their end. Yeah, and so I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs going, God, I wish I had money. I know, it sounds stupid, and I really don't have to worry about it because my guy's so good, and, you know, he takes care of everything for me, and I just keep a little a little checklist in my head. How much money am I into this guy for? Mm. So, and the uh, state disability I get is peanuts. It's nothing. So, it's it's really rough right now and I feel so guilty, but what can you do? Um, then I got phone calls for my physical therapy and <laughs> you know what a hassle that was yesterday where, like I said, the left hand wasn't talking to the right. Um, so, I have two appointments for next week, so looking forward to those, kind of. Um, and then I got a phone call, which was kind of weird, from a, a state agency that I had taken an examination for, um, and they picked me. It's like for a legal typist type of position, which I think would be okay, um, because I think I would be sitting all day, and I wouldn't have a whole lot of walking, that kind of thing. I have to iron that out when I go to the interview. Um, because I, I will not do filing or anything like that where I'm going to have to stoop low and, and that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> and it's a state job if I get it. If I'm a good girl for six months, I'm set for life. They can't fire you. You know, if you don't screw up, <laughs> they can't fire you. So, um, anyway, and it's a state agency that they have to accommodate my disability. <laughs> they can't say no. And it's a legal department job, so at least it's not like having to work in the legal world like I did. That was a lot of stress. Tons of stress. And preparing for trial? Huh. That's stress times 20 million. So, but and I'm not ever going to go back to that again. There's no way. I could do it in my sleep, but, you know, it's not worth night sweats and not being able to sleep. I already can't. Can you imagine me working? So, anyway, so that, that was pretty much 
my day today. Don't give me a bad time. I just got out of the shower. No makeup. and I just combed my hair. I didn't do anything. And it does look like crap. Ooh. It's the lighting in here, too. I discovered that my daughter went around and changed all my light bulbs. to like 10 watt light bulbs. I couldn't figure out why it looked so great at the hotel. Well, they had normal light bulbs. So I just realized it tonight. Now both my lights in my room have been on and I'm not about to touch them while they're hot. So, hmm. Anyway, but yeah, so that was uh, pretty much my day. I know, not very exciting. Um, I went and I got my fill. Two weeks, you know, and my pedicure. Pretty cool. And they were like, oh my God, you're so tan. I don't feel so tan anymore. But, and look, I was such a good girl. I took off my new necklace and put on, I got this one in March on Oahu. I don't remember. It might have been the international market I got it. But my little Hanu has got a, a mood stone in there. And uh, so that's why I'm keeping it close to my skin so I can find out really what kind of mood I'm in. I can tell you. Crappy. Um, anyway, I have a dinner to go to tomorrow night. And it's for a law firm that I used to work for. He got the invite because they refer cases and stuff to each other. And my guy makes a lot of money from them, and they make a lot of money from him. Um, and uh, so we're going there, but it's going to be awkward. I used to work for the guy who's throwing the party, who also is his very good friend. And I don't think I've seen him more than twice since I stopped working there. I don't even think the firm is so big and busy. It's one of the most popular, or one of the busiest, I don't know what word to use to describe it. They're very well known. Um and in demand in Northern California at least. Everybody knows who they are if you say their name. You get into an accident, you run to these people. You have somebody die wrongfully in your family, you go to these people. But anyway, um, so I have to go to this dinner tomorrow for Christmas and you know, it's one of those where there's going to be security there checking to make sure that your name is on the list and um, the house is like a mansion fortress. It's incredible. Um, I've not gone in previous years, but I gave in and said, okay, I'll go. What's even more awkward is that one of the guys that works as a partner at that firm was the first attorney I worked for when I moved to California. Now, he left to join this firm, so we split on good terms. And, um, you know, when I worked there, you know, I was like, hey, good to see you again, blah, blah, blah. And so, hmm, it'll be interesting. I have no idea what I'm going to wear, but... Oh well. So I've got to go do exciting things like unload my dishwasher. <laughs> and I did want to give a shout out. I commented on your video yesterday. Mystery Glow. Good, good news. I'm so happy that you've got a grandson coming. And uh, I wish the best for you and your son and his wife. And uh, you know, I pray for healthiness all the way around. And uh, I'm really stoked. And like I said, if you need a blanket crocheted, I can guarantee you I can make one. It won't be rectangle. It won't be square. It'll be a triangle. I can't do it. I don't know why. But all right, you guys. I'll see you later. And um, I could gab fest about Top Chef, but I'm so pissed I won't. So <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow, maybe right before I go to the party or after. So see you later. Have a good one. Happy Friday and happy furlough Friday, California State employees. See you later. Bye.